Located on the shoreline of the harbor stands a building that's over 100 years old in remembrance of some of the Keweenaw's bravest. What once was home to a full crew of the Coast Guard is now a museum focusing on the progress of maritime innovation. At its recent open house, the life-saving station displayed vessels used for rescue operations from the past and present. Mostly uh, we want to open up and show the public all the equipment that you know, when you look at the life-saving service and you look at the U.S. Coast Guard in all these years, the equipment they used in those early years. So we have a good representation of that equipment on hand for them to view. We welcome everybody to come see what we got. The museum is open daily, 9 till 6. It's free admission. Some of the duties of the crew who once lived here included rowing this boat in rough storm waters. Anytime there were ships in distress somewhere, they would uh, reach out to the nearest stations. And, of course, the lifesavers would make the efforts, regardless of weather, they had the motto, you have to go out, but you don't have to come back. One celebrated rescue that required crews from both Eagle Harbor and the Portage Lifesaving Stations took place in the early 90s. 1900s, where nearly two dozen survivors were brought to safety after their vessel was torn apart from a storm that claimed over 200 lives. Two crews of Portage and Eagle Harbor made a rescue of the uh, L.C. Waldo crew in 1913, and they rescued 22 people, two women and a dog, after they spent 90 hours on that ship waiting to be rescued, and they never knew if rescuers were going to show up. And they did. Both crews received gold medals for their heroic efforts. As technology progressed, the need for two Coast Guard stations declined, and eventually only the Portage Station remained in operation. The freighters were getting better equipped. They were better able to navigate in bad weather. And so as a result, this eventually closed. And so now we've got the opportunity to take and bring back to life for a lot of people a time that was. Dave comes to the museum twice a day to open and close the building and share some of his knowledge acquired with nearly four decades of active Coast Guard duty. Along with older human-powered vessels that remain on display at the museum full-time, visitors also got to experience some modern-day equipment with a 47-foot lifeboat powered by two Detroit diesel engines and is currently in service docked at Dollar Bay. Pretty, uh, pretty much a workhorse. I think a lot of the questions I think everyone's surprised about is that it's uh, made out of aluminum. You know, so it's, it seems to be the fascinating aspect of the boat. With a price tag of $1.2 million, the entire vessel is watertight, and in rough waters, if it were to capsize, it returns to its upright position in a matter of seconds. Children and parents were able to tour the boat and sit at the controls while learning some of the features. Uh, we're here today to uh, give tours of the 47, uh, talk about the boat and its capabilities, um, also talk about the general safety with the kids, the importance of life jackets and boating safety and some of the requirements, just getting our presence out there. I'm Lee Snitz for ABC 10 and the CW5.